Ooh. I need to talk to the Krogans to go and help their hated enemies, the Turians. Yep, I think the summit definitely has got a lot more interesting. Down this road before, Commander Shepard. But, Madam Counselor, let me. I tried to smooth things over with the Salarian Dalatras. To say she's upset would be a monumental understatement. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Sad to say, but any effort to ally these disparate groups seems doomed to failure. And I'm sure you understand that we cannot afford to waste time with the Reapers knocking at our door. This must be my final word. I'm sorry, but the Asari will not be at your summit. Our alliance would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. I wish you luck, Commander. Goodbye. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on Vidcom. Ooh. That is a pity, but it seems these Slarians are the uh, Slarians. Hmm. One moment. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. Um, Council Species. The Asari were the first. Yes, it seems the Asari have their own problems. <laughs> How the heck did I forget their race name? Uh, link to Hackett. Okay, let's see what he has to say. Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret that. The time for unity is now. The Salarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us, too. I see. Well, then you've got your hands full, Commander. Was there something else you needed to discuss? Why is it that everyone is foreseeing problems with the Krogans being there? Including me. Hmm. Well, let's see how things are going. Have you pieced together how the Reapers hit Earth? It wasn't all that complicated, really. They surged through the relays and hit Arturus Station before we knew what was happening. From there was a short jump to the Sol system. Earth didn't stand a chance. Whoa. That was a very heavy strike. For all, it was simple, as you say. Sending us to the Mars Archives was a good call. Still doesn't make up for the fact that the Reapers nailed us to the wall. I sacrificed the entire second fleet to provide cover for the third and the fifth to retreat. Hell, I presided over the most devastating military defeat in human history. You've also presided against the uh, most uh, violent battle against a far superior force in human history as well. So, I think you did okay there. How do you see us winning this war, Admiral? By making you the tip of the spear. I'm flattered, but the Normandy is just one ship. And a fast one. You can move quickly, hit a target, and leave before the enemy has time to react. It's hmm. an advantage, but can it win a war? It's the larger principle that matters. We'll never defeat the Reapers in a full frontal assault, Shepard. The battle against Sovereign three years ago took everything we had, and that was just one Reaper. I haven't forgotten. So I'll find their soft spots, avoid them where they're strong, and hit them where they're not. And when I find gaps in the armor, I'll hammer them with every soldier's ship and bullet we've got. That sounds like tactics. How long can we keep that up? As long as it takes. The reality is, Shepard, everything I'm doing is a delaying action for you. I'm buying us time, keeping us in the game, while you gather what we need for this Prothean device. So keep at it. I hear that. Has your analysis of the Prothean device turned up anything? The R appears to be right. It's a weapon of some sort. A big one. Beyond that, we really can't say, other than it's going to be a hell of a thing to try and build. <laughs> um... Well... With mean, things getting battered all over the place, that's going to be a bit of a problem, I'd say. Do you think it's risky, building something like this when we don't even know what it does? To be honest, the thing scares the hell out of me, but the Reapers have forced our hand. Two centuries ago, scientists faced the same problem in the Second World War. 
They weren't sure what the atomic bomb might do. Some thought it could even ignite Earth's atmosphere, but they did it anyway. They did what they felt they had to. That's a good analogy, that one, though. Uh, what about Cerberus? Any updates on Cerberus? There's still the wild card here. Hitting the archives on Mars suggests they're after the same thing we are. A way to defeat the Reapers. It didn't seem as if the elusive man was suggesting we appease them. Not like Saren did. You'd think we'd be on the same side now more than ever. Cerberus has never played by the rules as we know them. I don't know what their agenda is, but it has nothing to do with humanity's best interests. Yeah, I hear that one. I think it was controlling the Reapers. The elusive man talked about controlling the Reapers. He seemed to think that's how we win this. He's wrong. Dead Reapers are how we win this. Doesn't mean he won't try. I saw your report on that Cerberus soldier you found on Mars. If the elusive man is good at one thing, it's finding new ways to subvert science. It's never worked for him before, and it won't now. He's having some results this time, but... Indeed, it probably won't do much for him in the long run. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Will do, sir. Ooh. What a mess. Didn't get any more war assets out of that, but then again, I'm gathering for the summit. Commander, Edie just went offline. What do you mean, offline? I don't know, she's not responding, and I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. Okay, something's up with the Normandy. Need to go down and uh, see what's up. Commander, comm systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. See if you can get to Edie. I'll check the AI core. Something's going wrong. Messages. Okay, uh, is this address valid? Shepard, I've called and I've sent messages but got no response. With this comm system out, I don't expect this will get through either, but I heard a rumor that Normandy docked here at the Citadel. Are you alive? I am at Huerta Memorial Hospital under the name Tana Nerva. Please excuse the moniker and these emails encryption. I mean, in my line of work, it is unwise to advertise my location, particularly when I'm not good at, in good health. We should meet before circumstances force us apart again. Thane. Hey, Thane. Hmm, he was um, one of my crew members, previous game. Uh, from Caden, Shepard, through some combination of medical miracle and dumb luck, he survived. <laughs> Not ready to be released, but um, he wants to see me. He's been offered to be made a spectre. Ooh. I think he'd make a good one. From Sender Blocks. Um, name is Jordan Bow, I'm with Special Tactics Recon. While some still have concerns about your past activity with Cerberus, many of us with ST and R took your warnings about the Reapers seriously. I'm reaching out to you because I have information that could tie agents with significant political power to the Reapers. If you have time to meet me in the Citadel Embassy, I'd appreciate your discreet assistance. Hmm. And the last one... Meet me in Purgatory. A nightclub in the Citadel called Purgatory. Um, but that was a proposition for me. Okay, I'll have to follow up on those. Um, but yeah, I need to get down to the AI core. I shouldn't have wasted time reading my mail, of all things. I wonder what's wrong with Edie. She's kind of a big part of the ship.
She was built with some Reaper components, so maybe that's what's going wrong? It's happened before. Automated systems have the fires contained. It should be safe to enter. Fires? Follow your lead. No, wait, there's fires in there? Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire or something. I'm going in. Edie, talk to me. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me. But I had control of it. It was not a seamless transition. Whoa. Um. Well, that caused a bit of a uh, problem. But what exactly happened? A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus, the fire. Ooh. Yeah, that was a bit risky. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Ooh. Hmm. That's actually smart thinking, Edie, but um, you may should test out a little bit first. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever test you can, then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew's a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. On that, we can agree. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Thanks for the warning, Edie. Really could have used being told about this earlier. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to end the session there. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.